Welcome! In this video, we will dive into the fundamentals of cardiac ultrasound. We will start with a quick review covering cardiac function and heart anatomy, focusing on the relevant structures for cardiac ultrasound. We will also go over the concept of echogenicity and how it impacts image quality. Finally, we will introduce the three main cardiac ultrasound windows. The heart is an organ that works as a pump to circulate blood throughout the body. The heart is located on the left side of the chest cavity, slightly oriented downward. It is about one and a half times the size of the patient's fist. When starting a cardiac ultrasound exam, it is important to visualize the heart inside the patient's chest. It will help you define the correct probe position to acquire ultrasound images. When performing a cardiac ultrasound exam, you will see multiple anatomical heart structures in the different views you will acquire. Let's focus on the most relevant features of cardiac ultrasound. Following the direction of blood flow, we first visualize the inferior vena cava, IVC. It leads to the right atrium, which connects to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle can be distinguished from the left by the thickness of its walls and its size, which are typically smaller in the absence of pathology. Moving along, we observe the pulmonic valve and pulmonary artery that transport blood to the lungs. This blood returns via the pulmonary veins to the left atrium, which connects to the left ventricle through the mitral valve. The blood is then ejected into the bloodstream through the aortic valve, visible at the beginning of the aorta. Additionally, by placing your hand on the left side of your rib cage, just below the nipple, you can often feel your heart beating. This is where the heart apex is located, at the tip of the heart. This area, known as the apical area, is crucial for obtaining specific views during a cardiac ultrasound exam. Cardiac ultrasound uses a fan-shaped beam from a probe to produce images. By placing an ultrasound probe on the chest, the waves emitted pass through the body, slicing through the heart. As these waves interact with various tissues, they generate a 2D image based on the different responses of these tissues to the waves. It's important to understand that cardiac ultrasound is a two-dimensional image analysis of a three-dimensional organ. That's why a full exam includes several acquisitions of two-dimensional ultrasound images to obtain a representation of the overall heart function. Reference views are thus obtained at several points of the chest. In addition to this comprehensive imaging approach, ultrasound offers the advantage of being a non-invasive, radiation-free technique that provides both anatomical and dynamic views of the heart. Ultrasound relies on mechanical vibrations that travel through body tissues. However, they cannot travel through the air effectively. To overcome this, ultrasound gel needs to be applied to the patient's chest. Also, because bone, like ribs, blocks ultrasound waves, the probe must be carefully positioned in the intercostal spaces to allow the beam to reach the heart. This positioning is essential for capturing clear and usable cardiac images. One of the key factors that affects the quality of ultrasound images is echogenicity. Echogenicity refers to the ability of tissues to reflect ultrasound waves. It determines the ultrasound image quality some patients have high echogenicity, meaning that the heart structures appear clearly on the images with well-defined contours. Others have low echogenicity, resulting in blurry images. Several factors can affect echogenicity, obesity, smoking history, age, and health. Although even young, healthy patients may sometimes have poor echogenicity, when performing an exam on a patient with poor echogenicity, some views may be challenging to obtain. Still, it is very rare to get no image at all. The goal of cardiac ultrasound is to capture short clips of some reference views, standardized images showing key heart structures. There are several reference views distributed in three windows, the parasternal window, the apical window, and the subcoastal window. The parasternal window is located on the lower left side of the chest, near the left pectoral area. From this window, we aim to capture four key views. The parasternal long axis, 
the parasternal short axis at the papillary muscles level, at the mitral valve level, and at the aortic valve level. The apical window is located just below the left nipple, near the apex of the heart. From this position, we aim to capture four reference views, apical four-chamber, five-chamber, two-chamber, and three-chamber. Finally, the subcostal window is located just below the sternum, under the xiphoid process. From this window, we aim to capture two reference views, the subcostal four-chamber and the subcostal inferior vena cava. Each window gives a unique perspective of the heart's anatomy and function. In this video, we covered the basic cardiac anatomy and main features relevant to cardiac ultrasound, the concept of echogenicity and its impact on image quality, the three main cardiac ultrasound windows, parasternal, apical, and subcostal. By mastering these fundamentals, you will be better prepared to perform cardiac ultrasound exams with confidence.